Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, I recently switched to using uh, Google Docs and Sheets instead of Microsoft Word. Uh, we were paying for this, um, the subscription and I just decided let me try Docs and Sheets and see if I can replace it. And so far I've been able to do everything that I could do in Word over in Google Docs. Um, but I was um, going to mail out my Christmas cards and I wanted to uh, do a mail merge. So I had to figure out how to do that. And it, I wanted to show you in Google Sheets, it's so easy. It's a lot easier than Word. So let me show you how. So let's open up a new spreadsheet. And I'm just going to type in. So um, you probably would have a spreadsheet already that you want to merge with. But I'll just put in. Um, some different names here. Okay, so um, Sheets works very much like Excel. Um, so here's where, and you could also connect this to your address book, your um, Gmail account, if you had your names and addresses in there. Um, I just happen to have a separate spreadsheet for my Christmas card list. So if you go up here to extensions, there is an add-on called Avery Label Merge. So the way I got this was I went to add-ons and I went to get add-ons and I searched for, um, actually I think I just started going down the list here and you can just see the different add-ons for different uh, docs, sheets, all the different um, Google tools. And I think I searched for labels and found an Avery label merge. And um, it's free. So this is where I hit this and then I no, notice here it says installed, but I um, clicked on that and added it. And then to get to it after you add it is it's listed down here under your extensions. So I'm going to click start and here's where I could import from my Google contacts. Um, I'm going to hit start here. Now I did notice that it was um, free, free to print 30 at a time, which is a sheet of labels, a normal Avery sheet of um, little 1 inch by 2 and 5 eighths inch labels. Um, and your first 20 are free. So uh, you can see that I've done three so far. So I've got 17 merges left. So um, when I open this up, You've got your choice here of which Avery labels that you want, and they've got every size here. So I picked the one by two and five eighths, applied that, and then it filled in name, address, city, state. And of course, I want a comma after city, and I want state to be beside it, and then I want a couple spaces, and I want to add zip. So it's got all my fields here for my spreadsheet listed, and I can say to add zip. I don't know why it doesn't come up with that as the default form format, but it didn't. And then it's also very easy to change the font. There's a handful of them here. And then you can also change the size of them. So I left it all default because I wanted it to fit in that label. And I did have a little bit of room. I probably could have made it up to um, 14. Um, I don't know if 18 would have fit. It does suggest that you try printing it to a um, sheet of paper first before you do it on your labels and then see if they fit okay. Um, but I found this to be very easy. So once I do this, I can click on uh, Merge and it'll go out and read your sheet. And so far it's not um, now, now, when it asks this question here, you have three labels to merge, do you want to continue? When you say yes to that, it's going to deduct one from your merges that are left. So I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to generate those three labels. Now, here I was a little confused on where do I go get them, right? It merged them, but where are they at? So this actually, right here, is a link to it. So it created a sheet. Now when I did a file open, I couldn't find it anywhere, but apparently you have to click here, um, open the merged Google document, or save its PDF version. 
So I think it's handy to save the PDF version because that way you don't have to do the merge again to get to this screen. So download the, when you click on this PDF version, it's going to download it to your downloads folder. Okay, so I'll do that. And then it says that it did that and then I can hit close. And here's where it says to, it suggests to print it on plain paper to see if the alignment looks okay. Okay. So now I have 16 merges left. So let's go to my downloads and see this PDF. Now I only had three addresses, um, but you can imagine that the whole sheet would be filled up with your names and addresses. Okay. So I could print that on a plain piece of paper and then hold it over my label sheet to see if it matches okay. But I found that very easy. And then you could print this sheet as many times as you wanted to. It's just that merging function that is deducting from your merges left. Now you could create another Gmail account and start this all over again, but um, I don't know that I'm going to use this feature that often, and I don't know what um, the unlimited version costs. Um, but I wanted to show you how simple that was. If you've got your name and addresses in a spreadsheet, copy it into Google Sheets here, or start it in Google Sheets, collecting those names. Um, another nice feature of this uh, Google platform is that you can share it with somebody. So we've done this for um, baby shower invites, we've done it for wedding invites, when you need the whole family to kind of <laughs> put the addresses into one spot so that you can um, print those labels. So, um, so I find this so much easier than um, words mail merge. So, so give it a try. Um, if you try it out, put in the comments that you tried it and tell me if it worked or not. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Bye, guys.